Hello, I'm Dan, this is my garage, and these are my songs. Episode two, track two, Automatic. You know, this song is probably the most commercially viable of any of the songs on the album in terms of the way it sounds. Uh, it's got a big chorus with some harmonies and you know, three chords, and it's not super fast, but it's also not slow. It keeps things moving. It's got a cool guitar part. It's, it hits all the quadrants. But the irony of it is that the song is very cynical in, in nature. It's got a lot of major chords in it, but it's it's kind of a negative song from the, the perspective that I'm looking at it. Because it's about, you know, the sweet life of the straight and narrow, eyes on the path in front of you. You know, and the chorus is like, you know, it's easier if you don't fight. Toe the line, you know, like they told you to. It's about the idea that, you know, we can get in these ruts where we're just plowing ahead, you know, like a horse with blinders on. Never looking to the left or the right or up or down to consider maybe there's something else that's maybe better for us. And, you know, this can apply to all kinds of situations, you know, viewpoints, and it could be about, you know, personalities, maybe like our friendships, maybe a job that we're in, or, you know, maybe a city that we live in. And all these different kinds of things, it can be very easy to stick with comfort, not consider what else may be out there. Now, granted, what else is out there could be dangerous, it could be harmful, it could be bad, but so can staying in one spot. I'm the kind of person that I resist change almost to a fault. And I need a little bit of outside pressure sometimes to, to get me out of my comfort zone because that's when I can find some of the things that are the most valuable, the most enlightening to me. I wrote this song kind of for myself to, to, to remind myself to be skeptical of my own comfort, if that makes any sense at all. Musically, what I like about the song is that the duality of the lyrics is reflected in the music itself. I'm not going to try to act like I'm some kind of genius that it that I planned it that way, but it, it, the way it happened, when then when I listened back to it after it was finished, I'm like, that's actually kind of cool. There's a minor riff that is sort of the throughput of the whole song, but then all the parts where they're singing is just big major chords. It's like, are we supposed to be happy about this, or are we feeling annoyed or cynical? It's I think there's sort of it, it, there's just a playfulness to I think the, the yin and yang of the way that the song works, and I think this is best reflected in the guitar solo. As guitar players, we tend to be like, all right, what's the old phrase? The lyrics are just wasted time in between solos. And, you know, as a songwriter, I, I hope that that's not how my songs come across. But at the same time, even though I love playing guitar solos, I want them to take the song from here to up to here. Maybe if it's on a subconscious level, the guitar part in this song, it, at the end of the bridge, where it's like, outside there is nothing there for you. You know, that's probably about the darkest that the song gets. And then this solo comes in and it's kind of, it's got this, this bend in there and it's kind of angry and it's minor key and it's pentatonic and stuff. And then it comes out of that into this little arpeggio part, which is, you know, the major chords from the chorus. And it's like, okay, well now this is a little bit of a lighter feel. And then it comes out of that into a sort of a dark breakdown. And I think, I think it sells that there's an emotional complexity to this concept. It's, I think it's a great lead into the next song, which I'll talk about tomorrow, but it's called Open Your Eyes, which is not cynical, it's actually very heartfelt, and it's, a, it's an emotional perspective on this same similar concept about having kind of tunnel vision. But I'll talk about that tomorrow. <laughs>